Well, hello! Today I'd like to welcome you to my first impressions of a Birmingham Pens fountain pen. So let's take a look at it. Uh, Birmingham Pens is based in Pittsburgh, and they wear that Pittsburgh thing on their sleeves. So we have interesting packaging. You know, Ohio River, because three rivers actually meet in Pittsburgh. And I have a soft spot for Birmingham Pens because... You know, I'm from Pennsylvania, and I went to college near Pittsburgh. So, that was interesting. So we have accoutrement. Which is a certificate of authenticity. It's a genuine Birmingham instrument. And there's its serial number. Birmingham Pen Company. So that's what's in this box. The other box, whoops, has the writing instrument. So this is a Birmingham Pens 6th Avenue fountain pen in the gold seam finish. So named because there's a little bit of gold in amongst all the quartz. Of course it's, you know, not really quartz, not really gold, but we'll just pretend. And there's the serial number again. Uncaps fairly smoothly to reveal a Nemesine nib. Apparently it's a 0.6 stub nib with a cheap plastic feed. Uh, it's going to be harder to find the Nemesine nibs because Nemesine as a company is no more. His brother who ran Nemesine is now part of Birmingham Pens. So they just discontinued Nemesign. I am hoping that they will bring back the re-entry nibs, but Nemesign nibs are actually good nibs. So it's a cartridge converter pen. And I feel like I need an ink, so let's gamble. Let's not gamble. <laughs> I just looked down and thought, wait a second, I should use a Pittsburgh ink. Uh, from Birmingham Pens. So this is Pittsburgh H. Astray. So named because apparently back in the early days there was an argument over whether Pittsburgh should have an H in its name or not. A little history there if you're into that kind of thing. So let's ink it up. I don't even really remember what color H. Astray is because that means absolutely nothing to me. Looks green from here. I thought Alt Goldgrin, but I, I have a pen inked with Alt Goldgrin, and then I saw this and I thought, no! Let's just go with that. So the Alt Goldgrin I was going to pretend to just pluck forth and spontaneously put in the pen. Nope. So I took two swishes and I got her full. So we'll call that good enough, because it is a first impression. He has, what I've seen is basically two models. There's a Model A. I've reviewed a Model A before in the Imhotep finish. And then he has this uh, Sixth Avenue, which is a more squared off pen. So the ink again is Birmingham Pens. H. Astray. Which... Looks like sort of a murky green color. Um, flex. Nemesign nibs are nice, but they're not known for being flex nibs. But being a stub nib, you definitely get some line variation. Uh, wetness and flow. Does not seem to be an issue. Smear test. This is wet, but of course, uh, 
this test also tests the ink. Uh, reverse writing, which can be interesting on a stub. Looks slightly narrower, it's more scratchy, so maybe more like a broad. Uh, and finally, the world famous Peer Gustafson test. No trouble there. Normally, my next test is going to be uh, whether it fits in my shirt pocket, but it won't because there's no clip. Okay, so why did I buy this pen after buying a already buying another I'll be honest I have a weakness for this company um, I want to see him succeed because I'm from Pennsylvania yes I've been living in North Dakota since the fall of 1999 but the first 24 let's see 75 minus 99 yeah the first 23 24 years of my life were spent in Pennsylvania so there's where my roots are and so I have a soft spot for a company trying to make a go of it in Pennsylvania. And it's now a brother's and a father involved. Uh, again, family connection there. You know, I have a brother. I'm not in business with him. But funny enough, we're both teachers. He just teaches at the college level because he got the brains. And I've had to get by all my life on my looks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's sympathetic to him. Uh, I, I think these Birmingham pens are very comfortable in the hand. He's experimenting with different finishes, and I find some of their nibs interesting, especially now while they've been installing these Nemasign nibs, because Nemasign comes with some of the more exotic sizes that you don't find in other nibs, like the Yovo nibs or whatever. Uh, will I ever have a huge extensive collection of Birmingham pens? No. But I'm probably going to have a few. So, uh... Yeah, just remember, this is a first impression, and first impressions do change. So I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.